Okay, good morning, everybody. Got some viewers now. Uh, good morning, Tuesday, October 4th. On this dreary, uh, rainy Tuesday morning, um, we're going to start off with going to see the dogs in the dog kennel. And uh, probably won't talk when I go in there, but I do want to show you their cage cards. And we will show them to you. Uh, in case you see your lost pet, please come and reclaim it. Uh, we're open today from 10 to 3. And uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. Wednesdays 10 to 6. So let's see if we see any dogs here uh, that you guys are missing. Uh, the dogs, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, the dog gallery is open. Um, it does close at 2 o'clock every day um, for second feedings. So please be aware of that when you come in. Okay, here we go. Echo's been here a long time. give up and has medical issues. Hi, baby.
thing that are in the center taking dogs out, so that's why they're all barking so much. Alright, well everybody's in the center. hand to pet you because I tetted the other one. Hello, scritchy, scratchy Terry. Hello, baby. Oh, yeah. He's my buddy. He's my buddy. Hi, Terry. Look at this guy. I love him. Okay, you have a good day, okay? I know, sweetheart. I know. Terry's only four. train him and so now he's in the shelter. Uh, here's Bob. Hey Bob. Look at that toofy. Look at that tooth. Look at that tooth. Look at that tooth, huh? Okay. Hi. Let me sanitize my hands here a minute. Okay, so the dogs are kind of going crazy because uh, we have dog walkers in this morning that were in the center aisle um, that, and they were, you know, pulling different dogs out to walk. So um, that's why it was so loud. So I stopped talking, but I did want to show you the dogs in person. At the end of the video, I'll do the slideshow because there are some dogs in foster. Uh, Beverly, thank you for letting us know that about Rorschach. We're so happy for him. Um, I'm going to go ahead into the cat gallery now, and I'm going to just show you uh, the cat uh, video here where these kitties are all in foster. Some of them have applications, uh, some of them don't. So some of our, our cats are in foster homes or shelter offices other than in this main cat gallery here. If you see a cat you're interested in, um, let us know at the front desk. Uh, but all these guys are in foster and they are available to put applications in. If you need to meet them before adoption, we can uh, definitely have the foster uh, bring them in and schedule a visitation uh, because a lot of times the cats in foster, which we have, I think the number is like 80 or 90 animals in foster. We kind of need to get them adopted too. Um, uh, this is chicken. Uh, we are reinstating, by the way, our adoption fees, which is only $14 per cat and uh, $17 for dogs. And that includes spay or neuter surgery, a microchip, and a rabies vaccine. And they are all vaccinated against uh, distemper, uh, dogs and cats, and then Bordetella for dogs on intake. Um, someone was asking, I think, on the friends or the Facebook page about bonded pairs. Well, there's a bonded pair. Harley and Pooh have been in our custody for well over a year in foster. This is Mickey. Uh, he's so fine. Uh, Mickey's in a foster home. Jackie's in a foster home. Um, how's Jackie doing foster? Uh, 10 years old. Accepting applications. You can ask to meet Jackie. Here's Jack Jack uh, in a foster home. Um, 
a little uh, shy, but sweet to cuddle with. We're accepting applications for all of these guys. This is Linda, who's in a, uh, an office. So we'll see Linda in a bit. She has come so far. Um, she would not interact with anyone, and she's so sweet now. This is Meadow. Look at Meadow with her little foster sister. Relaxed, pleasant purr, seeks attention, loves a good head scratch. And if everyone that watches regularly doesn't know Miss Pauls by now, here she is. Um, she's living in a shelter office. Please ask to meet her. She's a, an old girl who needs a home. Uh, Olivia is in a foster home asked to meet olivia she's shy with a tiny purr and nuzzles her head to you please pet me non-stop i would like to sit on your lap this is princess poppy who's only one year old nursing the troll kittens affectionate and playful so she's a mama at one because she wasn't spayed uh tala has been in a foster home for quite some time seven years old um shy but very sweet Teddy has been in a foster home for quite some time, uh, says he has lots of energy. We do want an experienced cat owner for Teddy, please. Um, Moon Pie and Slater uh, are little bunnies that are in a foster home and are available for adoption. If you are interested in meeting them or adopting them, we can uh, contact the foster and schedule that. The Autumn Kittens, nine weeks old, in a foster home, working on socialization. Beavis. We got a lot of interest on Beavis. I'm not sure how many applications we have, uh, but I'm going to have to check that out because I know uh, the foster is, has asked me about Beavis. So uh, Dana is a female, three and a half months old. Now some of these guys that we may see may be too young to get surgery. Um, so if they are, we take applications until the surgery date. Actually three months is plenty old enough. Dudley already neutered a microchip. Dudley's ready to go. Just needs someone to want him. Halloween movie kittens. <laughs> uh, Hannibal, Harvey, Rosemary, and Samara. Uh, month kittens. November, December, January, February, and April. We didn't want a March. I guess we don't like March. In a foster home. Shanty. Seven weeks only. In a foster home. Recovering from a kitty cold. Loves Jingly and Crinkle Balls. Thinks humans are fun to climb. Aww. Squiggly, Smiley, and Squash are only six weeks old, so they're not ready for adoption yet because they haven't had surgery. They don't weigh enough, but once they do, um, please put a application on any of these guys. Squirt, Scout, Snorkel, uh, eight weeks old in a foster home until they weigh enough to get surgery. Taco and Taquita uh, accepting applications on these two. Uh, guys 12 weeks old and that's uh, the sum total of the cats in foster which is quite a lot um, so here we'll go to the cats in the gallery and again we've reinstated our adoption fees uh, they've been waived all summer but we need to go ahead and reinstate them at this point um, so we have Moscato again which is only $14 for a cat $17 for a dog, includes spay neuter surgery, microchip, and rabies vaccine. You can't go anywhere that I'm aware of for that price. That's a bargain. Moscato, and we have great animals. We have great pets. Hi, babe. Here's Moscato. And below Moscato, we have Penny, who's a snuggle bug, 14 week old girl. Penny, hi, baby. Aww. When they come to the front of the cage, when you call them, it's always a good sign. Right, sweetie? And then we have two little kittens right here. Hey, if you want kittens in house, we got some kittens. I don't see any pre-screen tags on these guys, so they look to be available. This is Libby and Arlo, who, who are two females. They're dilute torties, and they're so cute. Come on, look how cute you are. They were altered on the 27th of September, so you can take them home today. And then we have pineapple and olive. Uh, they're a bonded pair. We'd love for them to be adopted together. And why not? They're only one to two years old. Uh, they've been altered and they're ready to go. They're so sweet. Hello, babies. Hello. They came in as strays, but they came in together. Hello, muffins. Hey, we've adopted and fostered a lot of animals 
in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I thank everybody for, for that. Um, especially our support staff, cause it's a lot of work and, uh, we still have so many more animals though. Um, our work is never done, I guess you could say. This is Turnip, he's a boy. It says to go slow with him. He came in as a stray, he's five months old, he's altered, he's ready to go. Turnip, let's go back to the other end. Okay, so we have Sushi, uh, who is a fee who's a male, sorry, um, three years old. He's on a, a sensitive stomach diet an id which is sensitive stomach hello sushi boy look how beautiful you are uh he's a white uh and brown black spot kitty he's very cute hi baby here's banshee who's been here a while he's a sweet boy four years old um even though we've reinstated our adoption fees um any cats over nine years old are free to qualified adopters Two qualified adopters. Here's cat dog. Cat dog. Really? You're a cute orange baby. Listen, it's hard to uh, name all these animals that come in. So <laughs> sometimes you're like, oh, cat dog. Okay. Um, so we thank our, our staff for trying to come up with names because strays obviously don't tell us their names. So we have to name them uh, in order to identify them. Hello, little one. Here's Precious. Come here, my Precious. She's in the bed here. So you guys are welcome to come in and visit with these guy, with these kitties and dogs. All you have to do is fill out a pre-screen application. Our pre-screen application is very simple compared to uh, many organizations. All we ask is for your government issued ID uh you have to have you know something with your correct address on it if you own your home we verify you own it if you don't we do need permission from your landlord or leasing office you know many apartment complexes allow cats no problem you just got to pay an extra fee as long as you have a lease that says yep you can have a cat uh we can approve you um apartment complexes and some landlords do breed restrictions so dogs may be a different story so uh, you want to check that out before you try to come and adopt because we do verify that and we wouldn't be able to approve you if you have uh, a no pet policy or breed restrictions and you're trying to get a breed that they don't allow um boba boba what a pretty cat he's very long i do tricks he gives high fives come on who doesn't like that hi boba who are you? Jack o' lantern down here? Hi. Beautiful orange tabby, two years old, came in as a stray. Um, if you do see your lost pets, we would love to reclaim them to you. Uh, we need the cage space. Um, here's some kittens, Hocus Pocus and Mary. Hi. Hello, girls. Oh, one's a boy. Oh, Hocus Pocus is the boy. Um, and the boy is the orange one. So Hocus Pocus is the boy. Hi, look how cute they are. They should be adopted together too, probably. That would be nice. Um, all right, because I skipped you guys. Let me go back this way. We saw Jack lantern we saw Boba. Here's Lily. Lily's a bit nippy and doesn't like other cats. That's okay. I mean, as cats get older, I mean, that's the case, especially if they lived alone. She can be temperamental. Um, she was giving up. Hi, baby girl. Hello. So maybe a single owner with no other pets. That'd be nice, huh? Huh, Lily? You would like that. We've had cats that have come in uh, under that criteria and have gotten adopted with no problem. Uh, six and a half year old Jackson. Boy, we have a lot of orange uh, tabbies today, which is great, which is great for Halloween. Well, Beverly, you don't, you're not gonna get Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus and the litter mate should be adopted together. Hi. Tulip. Tulip. Hi. You look beautiful. You 
shy? She's a little nippy. Well, she's probably scared. Hi, Tulip. Hello. Here's very sweet Artie on the bottom. Where are we getting all these orange babies from? Oh my gosh, your eyes are beautiful. You're like a pumpkin. Yeah, you are. You're a pumpkin boy. Super sweet. Jason. Okay, we're gonna get all these Halloween names now. Uh, Jason. Hi, baby. Ch -ch -ch. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> he looks like a sweetheart. Crinkle. Hey, Crinkle. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Sarah and Winifred. Um, Winifred has a pre-screen, so uh, that's the chocolate point here. Winifred's getting surgery tomorrow, uh, so hopefully we'll have to see if we called the pre-screen. This is my mahi shrimp and oyster. That's definitely oyster season. Hello, boys and girls. Hi. Look at them. Who are you over here? Are you the girl? You don't want me around the boys? Hi, babe. Okay, so that's everybody in the gallery here. Oh yeah, I don't know, this door doesn't work. So, you know, Tuesday is a lovely day to come and look at the cats because they have a volunteer here that brushes them and plays classical music and they have a nice day. Thank you. We're gonna go this way. Let's check out who's in the nursery. Tapioca. Tapioca came in as a stray, five months old. You know, we assume a lot of these kittens that are strays don't have owners, but you never know. Um, somebody could have gotten a kitten and it ran out. Hey, how are you, Calico? This is Sandy, was a give up. Sorry, Sandy. Uh, Sandy was altered, she's five years old. She's a little temperamental, but she's a calico, so. Here are Slipper and Flipper. Uh, they're little female cats, about nine to 10 weeks old. They need, do need to get altered. I think they're in the nursery here to um, become socialized. Uh, I'll go ahead in the isolation room. Some of the kitties in here have upper respiratory infection so we're just not going to touch anyone this is gusty oh uh, i hope you saw him because he ran under the bed this is jolene jolene needs a quiet home id only sensitive stomach jolene don't take anyone's man okay jolene 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 cutie bell hi bell Pretty tuxedo cat, given up at two to three years old. Uh, here's Fancy. Someone was asking about Fancy. She's a Blue Point uh, Siamese type. She's on antibiotics because she has a little cat cold. Here is DW, who is another orange kitty. Came in as a stray and has an upper respiratory infection. So, um... A lot of these guys do have that. We have one in here named Grayson, uh, hiding. Who's in here? Do we have a turtle? We got a turtle. Hi, turtle. Um, reptiles, birds, critters, small mammals, rather. Uh, we say then critters, they're free to qualified adopters. Yoshi has a URI, nice lady wants to explore. Hello, babe. Sadie, give convenio. So all these guys have upper respiratory infections. When you are in a kennel environment, 
you meaning the cat uh, or the dog, you can get a cold. Um, so these kitties have colds and they're being treated with antibiotics. And that's why they're in this isolation room. Um, dogs get what's called kennel cough and uh, they are vaccinated against it on intake, but um, being in a kennel environment, it can spread. And so uh, cats get what's called an upper respiratory infection, which is kind of uh, secretions from their eyes and nose and they sneeze and things like that. So this is croissant. He's really mesmerizing. Um, nibbles when he's done being petted. Okay, so you gotta read him. Once he's done, he's done. Uh, I don't know what name this is. Not for adoption yet, so we'll move on. Mia, hey Mia. Uh, you see all the signs here that says got convenia. That's an injectable antibiotic because with cats, you cannot pill them every day. Um, that would be so laborious and hard because um, cats don't like to take pills. So thank goodness the veterinary industry has come up with an injectable antibiotic. If you take your animals to the vet, you've probably heard of it. Um, and it stays on board for two weeks like a, a two-week course of antibiotics would in pill form, in oral form. So that just we just give that to them and let them recover. Maverick. Oh, Maverick! You were in uh, quarantine because you have a wound of unknown origin. He's a beautiful cat. Um, he likes uh, his cheek rub, but he's got a URI now, so he was moved in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and sanitize myself before I walk out of here. So excuse me for a second. Okay. Sanitize my hands, my clothes. Sorry for that view. All right. We should be good. Don't touch the handle. Here we go. All right. So really the only other places that I'm going to go today is... Um, into receiving uh, the cats in quarantine. I forgot my key, but most of them are, uh, most of them have wounds of unknown origins. They've been shown before. And if you're missing your cat, please do look at our website. We uh, share this after, um, you know, we post it, you can rewatch it. Okay, so let's go in receiving and see how we do. We got some kitties that were trapped. Not too many cats in here today. Here's Boo Boo. Hey Boo Boo. Oh, Boo Boo has an eye issue. Um, we are, we'll have the vet take a look at that. It's Boo Boo. If you're missing your lost pet, uh, what we need is a government issued ID and proof of ownership which can be vet records or a picture to reclaim. And then applicable fees do apply. Uh, can be impound fees. There can be citations as view issued if the cat was brought in by an officer. Rabies vaccine charges if they're not up to date and boarding. So please be aware of that. We don't, uh, that's required for us to charge um, by the county. It's written in the county code. Here's Linda. Linda Lou, oh, are you watching the rain? Are you watching the rain, sweet pea? Hi. Nikki or Minnie, please call 8920. Nikki or Minnie, 8920. Thank you. Linda's come a long way. She's, she's, she's a good cat. She loves to be on your lap and pet and cuddled and... Yeah. She doesn't mind dogs. She doesn't mind other cats. Right. We've had plenty of dogs and other animals in here with you, Linda. You should get adopted. Yeah. Cutie. There we go. It is warm in the shelter today. Every time the Every year we have some issues with our HVAC where when it gets cold and we have to turn the heat, it's too hot. Um, so it's just something we have to deal with every, every year. 
Okay, let's go into the kitten menagerie in here, the cat menagerie. We have Bowser in here plus some other kittens. <laughs> yes, because I think the kittens broke out. I think Bowser let them out. Tofu and tomato. Boy, they've come a long way because they're laying together. And they're a lot more, they're not hissing at me. They're getting socialized to get adopted. Right, boys? Here's Bowie. Hello, Bowser. Can you say hi? Bowser needs to get adopted too, don't you? Literally just texted you. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, it's warm in there too. All right, let's take a look at Miss Paul's. Hello, doll. How are you? Miss Paul's is a saucy minx. She's about 10. So if you like saucy minx, come and get you, right? <laughs> oh, good. Tangerine is in this office, which is a little kitten. Not really socialized. Wow, there's a lot of uh, data sheets in here. Uh, you know what? I think our person probably took... Did they take Tangerine home? Or is Tangerine hiding somewhere? Uh, well, there's a kitten in here. I have no clue where she could be because there's a lot of hiding spaces. So we have a kitten named Tangerine, black and white kitty. Tangerine, three to four months old. No. Okay. This is our training room where we're supposed to do training commission hearings, but it is filled with small mammals. Rabbits, here's Romeo, Jolly Roger. These are domestic rabbits that came in as strays. I guess people found them and turned them in. Uh, this is Tumper. These guys over here will take fruit from your hand and snacks from your hand, uh, especially Bambolina. I'll bring you an orange later, Bambolina. Here's potato, potato, glitch. Hello, babe. These guys will all, see they're coming in the front of the cage. They're extremely socialized and they will, um, you know, they'll take fruit from your hands. Here's bebop. You look like a bebop. You look like a bebop, 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 bebop. She wants, he wants fruit too. Here, let's see. We have some alfalfa hay cubes. Let's see if they'll take them. Bebop, you want a hay cube? You want it? Look. No? You don't want that? Here, take that. It's kind of big. You want it? Hang on. Bambolina, you want a hay cube? Here. Take it from me. Oh, you guys can't see, sorry. Here, no. She prefers fruit. You want it? Lop, 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 This is potato. You want that? They want fruit. And tumper, here. No, you'll eat it later. you eat it later, okay. So a lot of rabbits, and then here are Hannah and Roxy, guinea pigs. See them in there? Two boys, Hurley and Bodie. Come and get them, please. Hurley and Bodie. And we have Chestnut and Coco. Thank you for whoever donated all that Timothy hay. We certainly need it. These guys are cute. Little chestnut and cocoa. All right. Whew. Well, I'm exhausted from showing you guys all the animals in our care. And I haven't even shown you the, um, the dog slideshow yet. So let's go out and finish the video with that. 
<clears throat> we are open for business now, so there will be people in the lobby. So here's Lala. Um, we saw them in the in the kennel. This is Ludo. Ludo was in the isolation area. He's under observation. He's two years old. He was found as a stray, very thin. Should have walked back there, but we'll do it next time. Maurice, we saw in the kennel. Um, now, the reason that we have this slideshow out here is because it gives you information on the on the dogs. Um, rather than just seeing them barking in the kennel, you can come out here and take a look. Here's Minerva. This dog came in last week. Cane Corso mix. Um, someone found it, brought it in under observation. Please ask to meet Minerva. And this is Misty, is in a foster to adopt home. Misty has some medical issues that we're going to address. But right now she's in a wonderful foster home. Thank you, fosters, if you're watching. Hope everything's going okay with Misty. And this is Molly. We didn't really see her real well in the uh we didn't see her real well in the kennel because she was on the other side. Um, but Pitbull mix five years, four years old, five months old. Four years and five months, sorry. This is OC. We really, really, really need a rescue, a shepherd rescue to take OC. Um, she is a people dog. She's friendly and very sweet, but she's very overwhelmed in a shelter. She's been adopted and returned twice because it is a special breed um, that needs an experienced owner. That's why we need a rescue. This is Otis. Otis is a stray given up by acquaintance of prior owner. Okay. Uh, Otto. Otto uh, was adopted and returned because he has a lot of energy. He's a chocolate lab. Um, I think we have one other application we have to call on Otto. Here's Poe. Uh, Pitbull mix in a foster home. We didn't see Poe in the kennel, so here's Poe. Again, dog adoptions are $17, but if you recognize your lost pet, please come and get them. This is Scratch. Volunteers say affectionate in general, walks well on a leash. And Sissy and uh, her sister we saw in the kennel. So you guys, I'm actually going to have to stop the video now because the lobby is actually full of people and uh, I can't hear what I'm saying and need assistance. They need assistance. So I'm going to stop the video. Um, we do have an extended rabies clinic on Thursday this week um, from 12 to 7. Uh, please be aware it's line up outside, rain or shine, outside line, rain or shine, cash or check only, $5 for a rabies vaccine and $20 for, uh, $20 for a, um, a microchip. If you don't have cash, especially after 3 o'clock, we will not be able to serve you, okay? Um, so thank you for watching as usual. Have a great rainy Tuesday.